Ukrainian drone grenade destroy trenches fortress Russian defensive in Verbov. A heart-stopping video shows the moment a lone Russian soldier is blown up by a Ukrainian drone grenade. The Russian soldier is seen scrambling across a large tract of open land in an unspecified location as an armed drone stalks him from above. With nowhere to hide, the enemy is sitting ducks when the drone deploys a grenade, as the bomb barrels towards him, the soldier attempts to dodge it but it's too late. Boss. In an instant, the soldier is blown up by the grenade, thick plumes of smoke billow out from the point of impact as his body lies strewn across the field. It's a modest win for Ukraine as its counteroffensive in the south grinds on into its third month. A study earlier this month by the Royal United Services Institute, a London-based think tank, found that Ukrainian forces are averaging 700 to 1,200 meters of progress every five days. That gives Russian forces time to dig in and especially to mine territory as they pull back. The 3rd Assault Brigade composed entirely of volunteers and considered one of Ukraine's best and most experienced corps, has been fighting almost non-stop in the east since January, while less experienced units received new training and modern weapons to fight in the south. In a symbolic win, Ukraine struck the headquarters of Russia's Black Sea Fleet in a missile attack Friday that left a serviceman missing and the main building smoldering, according to military officials on both sides of the war and images from the scene in Crimea. The Russian Defense Ministry initially said one service member was killed but then issued a statement saying he was missing following the attack in the port city of Sevastopol. The Crimean Peninsula, which Russia illegally annexed from Ukraine in 2014, has been a frequent target since Russian President Vladimir Putin ordered a full-scale invasion of Ukraine almost 19 months ago. Crimea has served as the key hub supporting Moscow's invasion of Ukraine. Sevastopol, the main base of Russia's Black Sea Fleet since the 19th century, has had a particular importance for Navy operations since the start of the invasion of Ukraine. Ukraine has increasingly targeted naval facilities in Crimea in recent weeks while the brunt of its summer counteroffensive makes slow gains in the east and south of Ukraine. Military experts say it is essential for Ukraine to keep up its attacks on targets in Crimea to degrade Russian morale and weaken its military and the attack came a day after Russia pounded cities across Ukraine with missiles and artillery strikes, killing at least five people. Meanwhile, Putin's forces rattled as Ukraine vows to continue relentless counteroffensive into winter. Russian military chiefs have been stunned after Ukraine vowed to continue its counteroffensive into winter, despite expectations for a break in the fighting. Ukraine has vowed to continue its relentless military counteroffensive throughout winter. Leading Ukrainian commander General Alexander Tarnavsky told that the weather will not stop Kyiv's plan to seize back land from Russian forces. It had been expected that the counteroffensive would be paused during winter, similar to the break in the fighting seen last year. However, General Tarnavsky said the wintry weather would not have a serious negative impact on the counteroffensive because the troops are mainly advancing on foot, without equipment. The weather can be a serious obstacle during an advance, but considering how we move forward, mostly without vehicles, I don't think the weather will heavily influence the counteroffensive. The leading commander told, Intense rains in the fall can make the ground in Ukraine soggy and make movement with heavy machinery, like tanks, more difficult. But Ukraine's forces move in small groups, mostly on foot. He also said that Ukraine was relying on assault squads, groups of 10 to 15 men, to take on Russian forces instead of large battalions. In the interview, the general, who is leading Ukraine's counteroffensive along the southern front line, confirmed that his forces had broken through in the town of Verbov.
Satellite maps from the U.S.-based Think Tank Institute for the Studies of War (ISW) supported General Tarnavsky's claims of a breakthrough. The ISW said that Ukrainian infantry is slowly and systematically fighting through Russian fighting positions between Robotyne and Verbov. The think tank added, the ISW continues to assess that the Russian military does not have sufficient forces deployed to this sector of the front to completely man its defenses in depth and that Ukrainian forces should be able to operate through Russian field fortifications more rapidly if they are not properly manned. General Tarnavsky also predicted an even bigger breakthrough imminently, naming Tokmak, a strategic hub for Russia, as a major target. Meanwhile, Ukraine launched another missile attack on Sevastopol on the occupied Crimean Peninsula on Saturday. This comes a day after a devastating attack on the headquarters of Russia's Black Sea Fleet. Crimea, illegally annexed by Russia in 2014, has been a frequent target for Ukrainian forces since Russian President Vladimir Putin ordered a full-scale invasion of Ukraine in February 2022. Ukraine, which launched its counteroffensive against Russia back in June, is finally turning the tide against Vladimir Putin's forces and dealing a decisive blow. Ukraine has dealt a series of decisive blows against the Russian military this week, more than three months after launching its counteroffensive. A number of military breakthroughs in recent days appear to have turned the tide of the war, which started in February last year. This includes devastating psychological blows to the Kremlin, new weapons from the West, and crucial wins on the battlefield. Выше, под...